towards the end of last year, I felt stuck. I felt like a potato. I mean, I like potatoes, but I don't like feeling like one. Okay, I don't even really know what that means, but that's how I felt. Like, I just was without really being. I was spending more time thinking rather than doing, more time envisioning rather than taking action. I had simply gotten into the bad habit of being too comfortable because ultimately that's what it is, a bad habit. Now, what do you do with bad habits? You break out of them and try to build good ones instead. So that's exactly what I decided to do. More than 40% of the actions that you perform every day aren't actual decisions, but habits. Now, the good thing about habits is that they aren't absolute. You can change them and replace them. It just takes practice, lots of practice. And persistence and consistency and discipline. And now to me, it wasn't much about the habit itself as it was about learning to build one, whatever it might have been. And I wanted it to be challenging enough to where I would feel resistance, but not too challenging to where I would feel discouraged. So I decided that I would be going to the gym every single day for the rest of the year, which was about 94 days. Oh, and at the time I was working a corporate job where I would get up at six in the morning to get ready for work. But I knew I wanted to get my workout in before work, so I started getting up at around 4.45 instead. So the night before, I would prepare my work bag and bring it with me to the gym in the morning so I could shower and get ready for work after having had my workout. The first few days were tough. Every morning when my alarm went off, I tried talking myself into not going. I would tell myself that it was pointless and that it wouldn't really change anything for me. But then I would remind myself that this was a promise, a commitment to myself. And if I take promises and commitment to others as seriously as I do, I shouldn't act any differently towards myself. About a week in, it became a little easier. About two weeks in, it became a lot easier. And from there on, it gradually almost became effortless. Some mornings were still tough. If I hadn't gotten enough sleep, or if I felt sore, or if I peeked outside my window only to find a lovely snowstorm. But other than that, I remember almost getting bored. I didn't feel challenged anymore. I remember thinking of myself and the excuses that I had made in the past and I couldn't understand them. I even thought of the excuses that others make every single day and I remember thinking, why isn't everyone exercising? You just get up and you do it. It's so easy. Now out of the 94-ish days, I did miss two days where I wasn't feeling well. And on some days I was stressed or exhausted so I just went to the gym, changed into my workout clothes, did one push-up, and then changed right back into my original outfit and left. But that was fine. At least I showed up. And that was the point. Now what did I learn from this experience? What changed? Well, a lot of things. But I would like to share three. First, I was significantly more productive than I had been in a long time. Despite the morning workouts and the nine hours spent at work and the time spent commuting, I got more done on those days than I did on my days off. Second, the three month period boosted my self-esteem a lot. I felt proud of myself. I felt 
capable, I felt accomplished, I believed in myself and that I could do anything that I put my mind into. And that was very powerful to me. Third, I learned that, well, unfortunately, three months isn't enough to change one's life forever. And the benefits don't last for too long once you stop. Good habits need to be practiced and maintained. Now, I'm not saying that I should have kept going to the gym every single day, but I would have to find another way to keep challenging myself. And I'm still figuring out what that could be for me today. Now, I highly encourage everyone to do something similar to what I did. It doesn't have to be going to the gym. It could be anything that is essentially good for you. The point really is to practice the art of building a good habit. Now I would love to hear from you all. What is one bad habit that you would like to break out of? And what is one good habit that you would like to adopt and why? Now if you would like to support me in this channel, you can do that on my Patreon page where I also post bonus content. And if you would like to follow along my life in between videos, you can do that on my Instagram but the absolute easiest way to support me is to simply like this video and subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next one.